Hey everybody, it's Jordan with PDQ.com, and today we're talking about uh, installing the products. We've gone through all of the the nonsense beforehand, making sure we have all of the stuff worked out, make sure it will run when it goes there. Now we're going to go into actually getting on our system. Unfortunately, we don't yet have PDQ deploy on our system, so we're going to have to manually do this. But luckily for us, it's very intuitive. So right here, I've done my, my license key. They sent me the installer, and uh, I'm running it. It is an MSI, so you could run this with uh, forward slash QN. But we're going to do things like enter the license, which makes it so there's a few more steps, but this should go pretty quick. So next, I accept this. I've read this dozens of times. Uh, I recommend you do read it too, but I mean, it's a user license agreement. Everyone's going to make their, their own uh, opinion on that. You know, I, I trust us. I think we're good people. So here we go with the uh, default to program files. If you don't like that, pick your own spot, just like anything else. And now, now we're cooking with the gas. We're gonna watch the green bar go a couple of times. Uh, that's it for the install. There is going to be the initial setup. It's gonna bring us up real quick where it can go through. We can get all the uh, finer details done after this point. Things like we can define what model we want and uh, add in the license. Right here, this is the getting started guide that we are referencing. So just you know, click there, lots of information. It's fantastic. Next, we are going to use a free license and I'm going to assume that if I choose the license that I have here, it's not going to print it out in text. If it does print it out in text, then uh, looks like our video editing guy is going to get busy with some blurring. Oh, looks like Jake's got blurring to do. Okay, and we're on to next. All right, so this is where it comes down to uh, local, and we're talking about central server where you got server or client. I'm going to do server just because... Uh, it has a few more steps. It has all the steps local has, but it has a few extra steps, like things like defining the port. Uh, so we're going to do server. And next, right, so this is where it is, the default port, 7337, just like we said. It will create the exception for you on the install. This is one, it is a port that's not commonly used. Talk to your networking team. Uh, you, you definitely want their go-ahead. You don't want to make enemies of uh, the security networking team. Uh, this one is listen to all IP addresses by default. If you have, you're have you looking for a specific group of machines, that's where you put this. And then now we're putting their credentials, and boy, how do I hope I remember this one. And now you know how many characters my password has. It's fun times. Fun times we're going to hit next, or finish in that time. And when it comes back, it's going to, by default, not have any machines except for the one that used the install on. Uh, in a future video, we'll go over how to add everything in inventory, and uh, then we'll be good to go. A uh, final step here. I mean, this went quick for us, what, a couple minutes? And I mean, I was, I was joking with you the whole time. I wasn't even making it my focus. And there we are, it's up, all computers. Like I said, it has the computer that we installed it on. Apparently I'm on Deadpool, I just knew the IP address. On this one, I'm only installing PDQ inventory, not both products. The, the process for both of those is very similar. Uh, so once you see how to do it, if inventory, it'll be the same on deploy. The only difference is the default port will be 6336 on that one, uh, but everything else is the same. So we figure showing one, we'll give you the idea how to get both of those done. Uh, and then there's a way you can go through. You can just sync this with AD. We'll cover that in a later video. It's going to be somewhere in the line of the list of these future videos. I'm going to be just as charming. It'll be great. Uh, for PDQ.com, I'm Jordan.